thousands, tens of thousands of new regulations issued every year. This bureaucratic state that we've created and the edifices that it occupies in and around Washington, D.C. may be invisible to ordinary Americans. Congress tends to pass sweeping legislation with goals that everyone supports, clean air or affordable health care. Um, but then they delegate the details of that to executive branch agencies like the Department of Energy or the Environmental Protection Agency. And you might think of the enabling legislation as an acorn that Congress drops one fall on fertile ground. And then the agency picks that up and nurtures that acorn and grows a seedling. And we might all think, well, that's a nice seedling. But then that seedling starts to grow branches. And before you know it, you have an oak tree that's 100 feet tall. And when you get near it, you're intimidated by, by what you see. That's the administrative state that came from an acorn. Regulation by telling people that they have to design products or sell products in a certain manner tends to freeze technology, tends to freeze behavior, and actually stand in the way of innovation. We have a federal regulatory system that, that rewards delay, that rewards um, litigation, and that does not focus on the American worker, on working families. When they see empty storefronts and closed factories, that is very much a product of what's emanated from these buildings and from the agencies that inhabit them. Regulatory reform sounds so wonky, but in many ways it's the key issue to grow our economy and put the hardworking men and women of this country who build things, who build things, back to work. Regulations do get updated sometimes, but very often they long outlive their usefulness. You could take each one of those trees in isolation. When you make a forest out of them that's so dense you can't walk through it, that's when the economic engine is stymied.